Cognitive development are the ways in which a child and person develops through reasoning and thinking. This concept was coined by Jean Piaget from 1896 to 1980. This system allows children to see the world differently over time and why children do the things they do. It doesn't have to happen in an exact pattern, even though it usually does. Children pass through stages at different ages and could possibly show characteristics of several stages at one time. The cognitive development system is split up into four distinct stages. The first one being sensory motor stage, which starts around infancy and ends around two years later. One of the first major things developed in this stage were raw sensation and movement. The child starts to grab items. These skills are categorized by the words fine and gross. Fine skills include moving your arm or hand in a slight movement. An example of this would be for the child to move their hand or their toy with their hand. Gross skills include full body movements, such as crawling. The pincer grip is also a milestone at this age. This is when the child grips something with their finger and their thumb. At 10 months, object permanence awareness that objects are real and exist all by themselves, even if not seen, start to appear. An example of this is a child and a mother playing peekaboo. <laughs> Separation anxiety exists partially because of this and because it has not fully been established yet. Objects and words start to develop and connect at this age, too. Do you want your cracky? Cracky! After these two years, the pre-operational stage begins. This lasts from age two to around age seven. In the beginning of the stage, object permanence is well established. The child understands that the item is permanent and does not disappear. Yeah. Around this time, animism comes into play, which is pretend play where life is given to inanimate objects. Hello, Mr. Duck. Hello, Mrs. Rabbit. Let's go for a walk. Also at this stage, the children are very egocentric. They cannot view the world in others' point of views. Awareness has grown towards two concepts, reversibility and conservation. Reversibility is a concept where a relationship that goes in one direction can go in another. A child at this time would not fully understand this or understand this at all. Do you have a sister? Yeah. What's her name? Samantha. Does Samantha have a sister? No. The other concept is conservation. This means that some of an object's qualities can change while others stay the same. Children do not process this fully or at all yet in this stage. This can be classified in volume, area, or number. Which one has more water? They both have the same. Now which one has more water? This one, because it's taller. After these years, the concrete operation stage begins. This lasts from age seven to age 11. In this period of time, concepts like reversibility and conservation are well established. Seeing in another's point of view is no difficulty. Which class has more water? They have the same. Now which class has more water? They're still the same, Mama. Do you have a sister? Yeah. What's her name? Samantha. Does Samantha have a sister? Yeah, me. Children also start to classify things at this age, too. Looking beyond that is different. However, a child can understand simple differences like size or color between toys or items. This one's pink, this one's pink, this one's pink, this one's white, and this one's white, and this one's white, and these two are the same. And these two look like each other. However, in the concrete operation stage, everything by the child is seen as black and white. No gray area or in-between area is shown. If someone does something bad, what are they? A bad person. If someone does something good, what are they? A good person. If someone does something bad and good, what are they? You can't. Finally, in the final stage referred to as formal operation stage, abstract and symbolic thinking is evolved. This starts around age 11 and goes on. The gray area is finally developed and now symbolic thought like truth and justice is developed. Hypothetical thought is also brought into light. Abstract paintings can be looked at and questioned. Higher math skills are developed and can be solved due to thinking and reasoning.
Despite all of this, many people still don't agree with all of the details in his theory, even though it has been around since 1929. Before this was brought around, people believed that children were just less competent reasoners than adults were. However, obviously, this is not the case. Children just think differently and have several stages of development in thinking and are born with a basic mental structure.